Ludwig is probably like the in the top 10. He's probably in the top 10 streamers right now on all of Twitch. He stole my whole flow. What did he do? Okay, so check this out. I'll, I will show you. Thank you for asking. A couple of days ago, chat, we had a discussion about water. Do you guys remember? We had a whole water tier list, right? And specifically, out of no, literally, it was on, it was on the blue. It was out of the blue. And specifically speaking, we had we mentioned a uh, a few specific, a few specific waters we mentioned arrowhead avion dasani aquafina and you know what happened he took those exact same ones now moist critical did do one by himself right moist critical did one prior to that but the reason why our content is different he did not specifically mention the exact same waters ludwig intentionally stole damn near every single water that we had mentioned the only one he did was like aquafina and then the jaden smith water but we mentioned arrowhead dasani avion smart water i mentioned core water i mentioned core water no one even no one else was even talking about core water until i did it so it's crazy no one was even talking about core water before i was talking about core water but he stole my whole flow and the thing about it is i'm not mad you know good artists create great artists steal and ludwig is a fantastic artist but the thing about it is is like it's it's you had to steal from little old me little old little old tevin with his with his with his small little following 160 viewers in the chat you just had to take from me ludwig you couldn't let me have one little thing. You had to make your own water tier list with with all of my waters. That's crazy. It's it's just it's just it's just hurtful. It's just hurtful. That's all it is. I'm a big fan. You couldn't steal from like corpse or dream. Oh wait, you already do that anyway. That's it. We need to fuck him up. <laughs> Send him the calling card. <laughs> yeah, Ludwig. We're gonna change your heart. You wouldn't like it. You wouldn't like it if I stole your ideas, Ludwig. You would not like that because I'm half black. I'm going to steal. I'm going to steal your viewer base. Not that me being half black has anything to do with it, but I just like pointing out that fact because I have no other redeemable features that are better than you. <laughs> Whose viewer base are we stealing? Everybody's. We're stealing everybody's. We're stealing everybody's flow. All 2021 chat. We're stealing everybody's flow. All of 2021. I'm going to talk like XQC. Take Ludwig's ideas. Get a thicker ass than Pokimane. Talk nicer than Saikuno. Huh. Hey, 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 everybody. Uh, 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 today we're gonna play Persona 5 in, in, in the level 99 grind. Uh, I, I just really like this game, you know? Deeper than Corpse. No one's gonna know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm gonna cheat more than Dream. I'm stealing everybody's fucking flow. All 2021. Everybody's getting ripped off. I'm gonna be in this bitch like like I'm gonna I'm gonna be like uh what's that girl's name from X-Men? We're stealing everybody's fucking flow. Mystique, yeah, I'm gonna be like Mystique with it. I'm gonna be a VTuber. I'm going in. 2021's the year of reflection. Maybe for y'all. Best streamer, we're coming. We're coming for it. All all 2021. I'm stealing ideas. I'm doing my own ideas, but mostly just stealing ideas. Question for everyone. If you had to kill and eat someone, otherwise you'd starve to death, would you do it? I have to kill them or are they already dead? Yeah, I don't think I'd kill someone and, and eat them if I had to starve. If they're dead, yeah, I'd eat them. On your Persona community video, I commented that Zero was my inspiration to play Smash, and when he left, I didn't have a reason to play Smash. But thanks to your stream and videos, I found a new game series that I loved, which is Persona. I will say, while I'm happy that you found new inspiration in the game through me, um, I hope that you enjoy games purely for the love of it and that my content only enhances that love for the game rather than your love from the game coming through my content. I hope that you love things because you love them, you know? <laughs> no, we appreciate Persona because of you. That's Cap. Poggies! Poggies!
Do I have a favorite comedy special? Bo Burnham's uh, Make Happy. Dave Chappelle's the second one, the quieter one, where he just was kind of talking. Mitch Hedberg's uh, Comedy Central special. Donald Glover's Comedy Central special. Eddie Murphy's Raw, of course. Any Chris Rock special. <laughs> I'm gay. Um, what do you say? I'm gay. I have AIDS. I'm homeless. And I'm new in town. Yes, it's new in town. That's right. Kid Gorgeous. Kid Gorgeous is good too. John Mulaney's. I can't remember the John Mulaney one, but it was the one where he had the hand stuck up his ass and he was like, I'm sorry. That one. Yeah, it's sad to see him uh, addicted to cocaine, but it's nice that he admits it and just wants to go get help. Honestly, the SMT fan base is more gatekeeping to me because I can't play Persona without being told SMT is better or something like that. Here's the thing about gatekeepers. Why do I gotta listen to a motherfucker that has anything to do with me? Especially in a single player game. You paying me? No? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Now for me, for me it's different as far as like gatekeepers because you guys do in fact pay me. So how I respond to things is a little bit different you know i have to make things a little bit more interesting when it comes to my content otherwise people just won't watch me and then i can't get paid but you know for most people enjoying a game is simply like do you enjoy game yes okay that's it everybody else can eat my ass <laughs> we pay your bill so we can gatekeep you yeah you've been doing it from for months i couldn't make other content for a long time i had to flip it what have i been up to honestly every single day honestly all i do is i wake up i research on how to get better i go to the gym i eat and then i start a stream that's it research on the hub you already know julian i need thick ass bitch <laughs> no research on what better at what just content creation content creation in general there's always a move to be made. There's always something trending. There's always something to get better at. There's always something to, to learn. And that's how I, t that's how, how I approach uh, content. I wake up, I watch streamers. I wake up, I watch uh, YouTubers and I'm like, where is the trend taking me today? Where is, you know what I'm saying? Would you make a fidget spinner vid if you were this big YouTuber back in the era? I can't answer that. Oh, if I was as big as I am right now, no. If I was really big, maybe. If you're trying to do trend shit, do Minecraft. See, I'm not willing to go that that way yet. I'm not big enough to enter Minecraft and and go somewhere with it, you know. Chat, what do you think? Where do we think we go from here? Streaming is such a weird thing because like, how does content work, you know? For me, I'm always trying to like Push the envelope a little bit, you know what I mean? Variety streams, yeah, but like, what though? Everyone does the same shit. I wanna, I wanna do something like, different. OnlyFans, we might have to do that. We might have to do that. I need in that, I need in that fucking Rust server. I need in that Rust server chat. How I get in the Rust server? Do I hack in there? The top streamers are boring. That's the thing though. It like they are boring and I have ideas. I have ideas I want to use in collaborations with them and it's just like tough. Call Ludwig for that favor. True. I need network connections because there's shit I want to do, man. Can't watch big streamers for more than three minutes. That's the thing. Like they they've kind of law they kind of are just like TV shows, you know what I mean? More and more lately they've just kind of become TV shows. Does that make sense? Like, we just tune in to watch them and then we, we just type in the chat and then occasionally they say something. So like, how do we, how do we like remedy it? How, how do we remedy that? There's too much chat for them to read? Yeah, I get that. Cause I've had, I've had the same issues. What is it that you guys don't like about big streamers? Cause I'm, I, I want to keep the small audience, but I also want to, I also want to introduce the bigger audience. They don't read chat, they don't engage, no interaction little interaction annoying ass fans I mean, that's true toxic communities shitty trends that's true manufactured chat doesn't even talk to each other that's true 
That's true. Chat doesn't even talk to chat in big streamers uh, streams. Isn't that crazy? How big we talking? 5,000 up, 5,000 up. So what you're saying is chat, if we wanna get bigger, but like keep ourselves down to earth, right? We have to continue to build, but at the same time, we still gotta interact. And we still gotta get you guys to interact with one another too, right? It sounds impossible to be honest. What if I did this? I've had an idea chat, hear me out, once a week for one of my streams, once every week, I will take the entire stream just to talk to chat and have chat interact with chat. As I get bigger and I push into the thousands, hopefully, God willing, Lord willing, we, we be degenerate, you know, we can say all our degenerate, we can, we can mega lol and keck w and all this other shit but once a week we just sit down we come together no bullshit and we sit down we just talk to one another about how things are going about what's going on in the community who i am as we move on because like at the end of the day we're all still people right everybody who's whole mega lolling and shit and chat they're still people and if you talk to them like people you're gonna you're gonna get a response the reason i'm talking to you guys about this is i can see like it's an issue like it's a genuine issue right it's hard it's hard to talk to chat when it's big and i don't want to i don't want to compromise anything i am who i am who i am who i am i've never sacrificed that for anything for anybody for any reason never it's kind of like my thing I really don't, I, I really don't fuck with changing who I am. I don't submit to peer pressure. I don't like changing who I am. My entire idea when I was streaming, when I started streaming is that I wanted to have a community to interact with more than anything. Content's dope. Making content's dope. Making people laugh's dope. Having fun is dope. All that other bullshit's dope. It's cool. I like, I like bullshitting. I like having these huge bits and grand stages and fucking shucking and jiving and fucking doing all this kind of bullshit it's fun it's fun it's fun to do it's fun to play video games but at the end of the day if i don't reciprocate the energy you guys give to me but like i just want to i just want to make it with interaction as a part of my my thing interaction is is cool that's just cool and you know what one one big one big plus of talking to you guys weekly or you know daily or however long like whatever however we figure it out is that we're never not on the same page chat but like as streamers get bigger like you just kind of they kind of just let their fans do whatever you know what i mean they're not really talking to them they're not really keeping them on the same page as them, you know but if i talk to you guys every week i'm gonna tell you every week like hey shit ain't changed over here we're chilling people who are big ignore chat because they can i mean i understand it but yeah, I've just been, the only, I just like talking to you guys. I really want to figure it out. I really want to figure it out for you guys. And not just you guys, but for the future people that find my chat too. I need some, uh, I need like side hustles, chat. What kind of side hustles do we need to get into? Obviously stacks or stocks, I think it's stacks, stocks, stocks and bonds, some real estate, perhaps owning a laundromat, maybe. Why did everyone say OnlyFans? Sell crack, OnlyFans. What the fuck is wrong with chat? What the heck? Loot boxes? Hey, I'm surprised no one said Pokemon cards. Sell your kidney? I said a side hustle. I'm not down bad. OnlyFans as an advertisement for your pimp services? That's illegal. Do you fuck with Yu-Gi-Oh though? Yeah, I have a ton of starter packs. Credit courses? Um... I'm stealing that. Teach how taxes work in an online class. Even I only understand taxes to the basic degree to get them done. The reason why you don't want to do tax evasion is because taxes uh, help your kids learn shit. <laughs> and that's why I really hate the idea of not taxing richer, rich people more money because when shit in your city and your state is broken, as a government thing, you need government money to fix it. So if I become a millionaire chat and they tax me like 
60 percent or whatever i mean it's super low right now i think the tax rate for millionaires is like 20 27 percent 29 percent or something like that but if it ever goes up i would be fine i'd be i'd be fine paying that extra money honestly anything over like 75 to a hundred thousand dollars i i really don't need using that suku kaja to raise my tax evasion i think the amount of tax payment should go up based on how much your job pays you that's the general consensus of what everyone thinks where i'm at right now as a single cis half white man i'd say 75 to 100k is fine